Now back to Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. We're headed to the one place that can never decline because it was never that great. Upstate New York. <laughs> there we are. There we are. I am from upstate New York. I got to disagree, Homer. When I was growing up, um, it was such an amazing, beautiful place to live. And it still is beautiful two months a year. But, like, it's either raining or brown or, you know, just, like, from the snow. It's just not a... Do you think you'll look at it as a childhood rose-colored glasses? Because I th- I thought the same of my hometown as well. Now I look at it, I'm like, it actually wasn't that great. <laughs> well, you know what? No, because that's why my parents moved away, because it just started to get bad. Uh. Like, people were moving there from the city. There was more drugs. It just was starting to get run down. So um, that's why my, my family picked up. My mom, my dad, my brother and sister just and grandma moved from upstate New York in 2005 um, to Vegas. Viva Las Vegas! Yes, that's right, Travis Kelsey. <laughs> and, uh, but growing up, there was this, uh, I guess the years are questionable. I'm going to say the early, early 2000s. Uh, there was this college that we had there. It was called Modern Day. And I believe it was a Catholic college. And uh, that's how we knew it. It was directly across from my grandma's house, directly across from my grandma's wow. house. And um, then it got shut down, but there was like summer camps there. And I remember I went to soccer camp there multiple years. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm starting to put the pieces together. I'm thinking like Northeast Catholic, not good. No, it has nothing to do with that. But of oh, course you would go right. there. Nothing well, I don't know because there was a lot of that. So <laughs> All right. um, then it became this stool, this school called Ivy Ridge. And it was for bad kids that would get sent there and uh, they would make them better. Kind of like um, the schools that Paris Hilton was you know, fighting against and things like that. Yeah. So growing up, uh, we re- I remember like vividly when one of those kids would escape the school that they would call us. My grandma's house was one mile away from my house and we lived like out in the country. And they would call the houses that lived out there and said like, don't answer your door. Wow, don't these let these kids, kids in. They're dangerous. Um, you know, if anything, call authorities. And we all lived, again, out in the country. So it's just surrounded by woods so they could be out in the woods. These kids are trying to escape this school. And it's like, there, they are murderers. There's nothing in your, I've seen it on Google Maps. There's yeah. like some streets and then nothing. It's kind of like Vegas uh-huh. and then dirt. <laughs> just exactly. Trees. Yeah. yeah. So come to find out, these kids were not really that bad. It was the school that is that bad. Oh, what? For the past two years, there's been videos coming out on YouTube from surveillance cameras in the school of them beating and R word to some of these kids by the people running the school. No way. Yes. So this, this I just saw it two days ago. This new documentary that will come out on Netflix on March 5th, so a week from yesterday, called The Program, Cons, Cults, and Kidnapping. Oh, my God. And it's about Ogdensburg, New York. Oh, no. (laughs) What? Your your hometown will forever be tarnished. This is it. Insanity. So people have started dropping names. And one of my best friend's mom worked there as a dorm mom for years. Oh, no. My best friend, Tanya, babysat for the owners like she babysat their kids in the summer the owners of this school like it, it's so close to home it blows my mind but we've all heard in the past few years uh, especially from when Paris Hilton started talking about these terrible schools and how they treat the kids uh, and I just can't believe that that Ivy Ridge is is one of these schools now I'm sure that there are there were some bad kids that were in there and, and definitely needed to be. But it was also for like rich parents that were like, I don't want to deal with you anymore mm. and just sent them away. And they would get wow. taken at like 3 a.m. from all over the country wow. and brought to Ivy Ridge in Ogdensburg, New York. They're like, what the hell Ivy Ridge is sounds this? really fancy, by the way. I mean, it could <laughs> not have picked a fancier, more expensive sounding I know, name. Yeah. I know. So what's crazy is, is from the trailer that I watched, it's like... 
I, it, it's almost like they just picked up and left. Like they just honestly, the the people that were running it just picked up and left because there's papers all over the ground and and like documents and the the surveillance footage of it's these left kids. There. Yes, they made them sleep in the hallway. They couldn't eat. They couldn't smile. They couldn't talk. They insanity. So I am dying. You know, I love a good documentary yeah. and I love crime and I cannot wait to see this because I actually know these people that are going to be in the documentary. Like some of them I went to high school with that were working there. You, uh, Crazy. Are, are they on security camera? Oh no. I know. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's, I just can't believe it. And what's really sad Story is the way. Is true. Oh, I'll, I'll drop names as soon as it comes out. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. <laughs> and um, I, so some of them we already know that are going to be in it. So like my girlfriends and I are talking back and forth, but again, it could be like rumors. So I'll wait till I watch it before wow. I start dropping some names. But um, what's sad is these poor kids who are away from their entire family in this like cult, like kidnapping type thing. And they're escaping. They're like trying to get out and they escape and they call, tell all of us, like my parents, my grandma, don't answer the door. Yeah. Don't. It's like we, it's what, crazy. So, but they just shut down one day? Were there kids there? I don't remember. I was already here. So I don't know when it actually shut down, uh, but I believe it was still up and running wow. when I moved here, when I went to college anyways in 2004. So Okay. Uh, 702-597-1027. Say you're not from Las Vegas, but you are from a place. What is the most embarrassing, the worst thing to come out of your city other than maybe you? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is, yeah. Uh, not, not you in particular, yeah. but just whatever the case. Uh, what's the what's the one like mark of shame of your hometown? Jessica texting us saying, "I'm from North Bend, Washington. We've had a smattering of things here or there. The show Twin Peaks was filmed there. Not much else. Recently, I saw a TikTok about a new documentary coming out. A man built a bunker in the middle of the woods and documented on film the way he was going to off his wife and daughter." Wow. And then go live in the woods for the rest of his life. North Bend, Washington. Hooray. There's crazy. There's crazy from everywhere. It doesn't no matter how small wow, it is. Wow, you're not kidding. That's I can't wait. Insane. So March 5th, I believe, is the date that it comes out. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be, I mean, and then I was like, well, I hope it is good. Like, I hope it's a good one where you, like, get answers. And, and I don't want it to be, like, poorly did. But I guess it's taken, like, two years. I mean, oh uh, this is. And I'm like, all these people that are in it or being accused of doing whatever. They're, they, I'm assuming, I don't know the legality of it, but I think that they have to ask them, do you have comment, right? So like if there's somebody I know from high school that's in there hitting a kid, they have to say like, and if they name that guy, they have to say, do you, ha do you have any comment about that, right? Yeah, you would think so. I don't know. I'm going to uh, have to look into it. Uh, 461 number texting us saying, Snooky from Jersey Shores from my hometown. <laughs> 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 Ashlyn, I'm from Reno. Need I say more? <laughs> <laughs> Poor Reno. Ah, Reno. Poor Reno. What a two-seven-media man. Oh, man. We might never hear the word Ogdensburg on this show again. <laughs> you might be too ashamed. We'll find out.